Hello everyone. This video will show you some ways to chop drum loops in Roland Zen Beats. I have no connection with Roland other than as a customer. My first synth was a Roland SH-1, which of course I sold for a ridiculously small amount of money like a fool. I'm not bitter. I'm not being compensated in any way by anyone for this video. I like Zen Beats and just want to convey some ways of using it. If you'd like me to cover any other topic or have any questions about Zen Beats, please put them in the comments and I'll try to answer. Thanks for watching. I started out with a one bar loop from SampleSwap.org. I checked it in the Auditor iOS audio editing app on my iPad to make sure it looped cleanly. Auditor determined the BPM of the loop to be about 90.3. I also used Auditor to create a reversed version of the loop. I dropped both clips into a 90 BPM project in Zenbeats. Zenbeats automatically stretched the clips to fit. Hooray! I made a dupe of the original clip trimmed it to the section I wanted to use, and repeated it a few times using the duplicate function, which creates a copy immediately after the clip you are duplicating. This is much easier than copy-paste for this particular function. It sounds like this. Then I made another dupe and trimmed it to a different part of the loop. Then I made a few dupes of that clip as we did before. It sounds like this. Rinse and repeat until satisfied. Then I'll copy paste the main loop to the end of what we have so far. Need one more of the little guys, so just use the dupe function as before. It sounds like this. Let's bring in the reversed loop. Let's dupe the reversed loop and chop it up and dupe the chops. And we get this. Okay, let's try something. We're mixing in the forward loop with the reversed loop. I did all of this chopping in quantized mode. Of course you could turn quantize off and tweak things around a little bit more, but because I had a perfect loop, all the beats lined up with all the bar lines. We're getting there. Normally, I'd be zoomed in further to make it easier to work. Let's see what we get. going to tweak that last clip while it's playing back. Okay, for now, let's just listen for a bit. I think I want to tweak that back end. We'll take a chunk of that clip, tag it on the end, and dupe it. So here's what we have so far. I'll take the forward playing clip and copy it to the end. Zooming in helps you work more accurately. 
Listen to this. I'll turn on follow sooner or later. I'll make a copy of that clip and tag it on the end, then trim and dupe it. I'll adjust each dupe a little for some variety. Let's listen and evaluate. I like most of it, but I'm not happy with that end section. Let's fix it. I've got an idea. Let's change the pitch of some of the clips on the end. I'll tweak this one up five steps. Notice that Zenbeats lists the BPM of the clip as 90.26. Auditor calculated it at 90.3. All pretty accurate, I'd say. I'll tweak this one up 10 steps. I'll tweak this one up 15 steps. This one stops at 23. Oh, that's fine. This is not opera. And this one also. And here's the whole thing. Let's tweak some of these other ones, too. Ain't this fun? Pick out some clips and tweak the pitches up or down for cool effects. This is art. You can't do anything wrong. Be creative! And here's the newly pitched loop. I want to add an effect. How about that new Zen Beats multiverb? With a touch of automation, this will be great. Not a fan of that line drawing tool, although it can come in handy. I like to use the paintbrush, but just to tap in some keyframes, not make a big frickin' mess with it. I get better results this way. YMMV. Each tap creates a keyframe with a bezier in between. Pretty elegant. Let's see what we've got. You can see a trace of the automation path behind the clips. This is a track automation, so if you move the clips, the automation will stay in place. But you can copy the track automation to the clips and vice versa.
follow is handy. I told you I'd turn it on eventually. At least I don't leave the metronome on all the time. Let's tweak those beziers. If you have any questions, or would like to see other Zen Beats tips, leave it in the comments and I'll see what I can do. Thanks for watching.